seemed to be changed upon a second look. In 1893, an eminent American historian by the name of Frederick Jackson Turner delivered a lecture at the American Historical Association. And uh, his lecture was entitled, The Significance of the Frontier in American History. Now, when he was talking about the frontier, he was referring to the part of the American West that wasn't yet settled. The point Turner made in his lecture was that the 1890 U.S. Census had provided new data about settlement, and those data showed, showed that, well, there was no longer a frontier. This disappearance of the frontier seemed to him tremendously significant and prompted him to, to gather ideas about how the frontier might have shaped American history and the American character. Turner asserted that the existence of a frontier with cheaper or virtually free land for the taking, available for individuals to sort of try their luck, tended to promote certain ideals that were central to the American character. Ideals of economic self-sufficiency, individualism, political independence, small-town democracy, suspicion of large government, things like that. He saw these things being really shaped by the economic and social conditions of the frontier. And for Turner, the end of the frontier in 1890 meant the end of this particular era of American character, and that Americans would become less individualistic, less independent-minded. And the frontier thesis was pretty much the accepted paradigm of the history of the American West until the 1970s. Then, for a variety of reasons, historians studying the American West began to question this thesis, and ultimately, many of them ended up pretty much turning it on its head. And this is what fascinates me about this debate. The change that happened was not so much a matter of people finding new evidence that hadn't been available to Turner. It was more a question of people looking at the same evidence with a different eye, with different emphases. There are two main areas of challenge to Turner that arose in what's been called the new Western history. One was that Turner tended to overemphasize the importance of Americans of European descent on the Western frontier. This was somewhat of, of, of an unconscious bias on his part, but you know, if you looked at Turner's picture of the frontier, it was basically white men from Europe who set the tone and defined the culture. Uh, new Western historians took another look at the West and realized that it was actually a pretty culturally diverse place. You had, obviously, American Indians, Mexicans, Chinese, and others. So, so the cultural uniformity of the frontier that Turner saw, the new Western historians look at it and, and see something very, very different. The other main area of challenge by the new Western historians was that Turner really, in their view, underestimated the role of the federal government and large co corporations in shaping the economic life of the frontier. I mean, just as, uh, for instance, the federal government to this day is the largest landowner west of the Mississippi River, and people's lives when they got to the frontier were, were really dictated by market forces beyond, pretty much beyond their control. You know, you grew wheat, you exported it to Europe, and whether you prospered or not depended at least partly on the price of wheat, which you had relatively little control over. Uh, so these two main areas of challenge result in a very different picture of the Western frontier. The new Western historians see a culturally diverse place. Yes. A place where people weren't really in charge of their destiny, even before the end of the frontier. People are, you know, their destinies were controlled by large impersonal forces. Federal policy, changes in the prices of agricultural products, things like that. For Turner, the end of the availability of cheap land marks a crucial change in United States history. But for the new Western historians, 
it's really more of the same, a, a continuation of the same kind of conflicts that had gone on in the days before the so-called closing of the frontier. I'm sleepy. So, again, as I say, it's so interesting because yeah. Yeah. it's a case of a shift in perception rather yeah. than a shift in the underlying evidence that, that guided the initial perception. Oh, my God. That, <laughs> I'm sorry, that guided long. initial perception. What's up? That's super long. That was long. That was five and a half minutes, but it felt like six goddamn hours. I absolutely hated that. It's honestly, that was like, that was super boring, man. That was boring. That was a very long one, but we have to break it down. This is the first mm -hmm. time. Now, are you going to be able to write as much as I did? No. And to be honest with you, I wrote a lot of repetition because she just kept talking about perspective, shift, view, perspective, shift, mm -hmm. view. I'm like, bitch, can you say something else? Okay. All right. And so what ended up happening here? What is this about? There was a shift in the paradigm of what people believed a society what used to be. Mm -hmm. The end of the frontier went from, it ended up being less indiv individualistic. And historians' view was different from the initial view. And then there were two areas of challenge, okay? And it was about Turner. European descent, set and tell, blah, 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 blah. And then Turner also underestimated the role of the federal government. Two challenges had a different picture of the frontier. So I'm looking at my headings. I'm looking at my headings to understand what the first question may be. All right? No take it is everything. You see how I have hyphens? I have numbers. I have the big headings right here. Yeah, okay. but that you can do it. You can do it with your computer, but with my hand. I, I know. I know. I understand. I wanted to show you exactly. What words would you have to write down in terms of all of this to see exactly what, like, because a lot of people write a lot of words, such as what I did, and we don't need any of it. So let's see. Let's see if this can allow us to answer some of these questions. So here we go. What aspect of the American West is the lecture mainly about? How it was affected by government policies? No. That was at the bottom. That was only a specific area of the lecture. Mm -hmm. B, how corporations influence history. I don't remember one mention about a corporation. Okay. C, different interpretations of its history. Remember, two perspectives. Yeah. D, economic changes. No, that's only a small portion of it. So I would go with C. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Because remember, this whole thing is about the paradigm. I wrote it at the very beginning. Paradigm, how it changed. And then it was about the historian's view. This was about the paradigm's view. This was about the historian's view. Okay. So that's why by process of elimination, as I have said, you know, as, <laughs> as we talked about in terms of the reading yesterday, this is what helps me eliminate a lot of these bad answers. Okay. Not bad, Jennifer. Not bad. Now let's go into the next one. What point did Turner emphasize? But go ahead. Go ahead. You got a question? Yeah, I have a question. Like, like I, I don't, sometimes I feel that I don't have the, 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 the time to read my notes. Ah, <laughs> and, and you know what? I heard that many times from a lot of different people. They have difficulty in terms of, oh, I don't have time to read my notes. I forgot it was another student just recently. She's like, she takes notes and then she's not able to read the notes because she doesn't have time. And I'm like, okay, is there a timer? You have to first identify, is there a timer? How long is it yeah. going to take you to answer? Okay, so what's the timer? Tell me what the timer is. There's a timer. The timer is right there. They okay. The timer. <laughs> okay. So how many questions do you have to answer in a given amount of time? Like. Do you get three minutes? I think it's. Yeah, it's like three to five minutes. Okay. Three, three to five three. minutes for how many questions? It's like, like, like six. 
It exits to action. Okay, so how long? Okay, so how are you going to be able to divide? Okay, oh. divide meaning how are you going to be able to allocate the amount of time to each individual question? It might be it might be about thirty seconds or so, right? Yeah. Okay, so. You said, I don't have a lot of time to read my notes. First and foremost, Jennifer, you're already starting off on the wrong foot. You're not supposed to read your notes. Come on, see. How, how's that? Exactly. Now, this is why the headings are everything. Because am I going to... What point did Turner emphasize in his lecture about the American frontier? Am I going to start at the top? No. Oh. I'm probably going to go now. The first time I mentioned Turner was way down here, but I think that's a little bit too far down. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to trust what I know in regards to the bullshit lecture that we just heard. Let's go check out these answers real quick because it says opportunities on the frontier were increasing. I didn't write that. The frontier no longer existed. Uh, earlier historians had drawn incorrect conclusions about the frontier. Now, but is it incorrect conclusions or is it a different perception of conclude? Uh, I'm sorry, a different perception of the frontier. So remember, this area right here is what I'm going to look at. It shaped the history. It shaped the character. Okay. You know, the free land, the individualism, you know, the trying their luck, had ideals to the American character, economic self-sufficient, all these positive things. Okay. So we go back again. It's going to be an order. Right. And so this is, I'm looking just in this little area. So based mm -hmm. on these answers, and if you look at D, settlement of the frontier should be encouraged. That doesn't make any fucking sense. There was no, no sense. It should be encouraged. We're talking about a suggestion in the future. That makes no sense. So I would eliminate A and I would eliminate D very quickly. And based on what I wrote down right there, and the frontier no longer existed, but it did say the end of the frontier. And it would be the end of the character. So mm -hmm. I'm between both B and C. And to be honest with you, C says earlier historians had drawn incorrect conclusions. It wasn't necessarily incorrect, though, was it, Jennifer? It was a different perspective. Mm -hmm. So I kind of like B a little bit more. So let's see. Boom. So what did I do here? First and foremost, you said, and going back to what you said at the very beginning, Arsenio, I don't have enough time to read my notes. I'm like, no, 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 no. Jennifer, you cannot read your notes. We're looking at specific I don't, I don't even have the time. Sorry. I, I don't even have the time to analyze the question. <laughs> you know what I mean? And again, but remember, what point did Turner make? I don't remember writing Turner until the very bottom. But at the same time, because I know it's question number two, I know that I'm still in the top half. Oh, thank you, my sweetie, my wife. Oh, she made me a smoothie. Thank you. Okay, sorry. Okay, that's my wife. Oh, my gosh, she makes the best smoothies. Okay, so when we look at that, when you said, I don't have time to read my notes, I don't know how to evaluate. But because it's question number two, I know that I'm not going to be looking all the way at the bottom page of my notes, at the bottom of the board. I'm going to be looking a little bit towards the top half. And that's why I say, you know what? Let me look in this area right here. Why? Because one of the answers, <clears throat> one of the answers, as a matter of fact, says it was the frontier no longer existed. And right here, I wrote the end of the frontier. So I know based on this weird ass question, which is extremely weird, I'm going to be just in this area. That's it. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to look any further down and I'm not going to look at the very beginning because the very beginning has already come and gone. Okay. That's different. Okay. 
So it all depends. Now, let, let's try that again. Now, our city, okay, that question was a little bit difficult. Can we try another one? And let's see what you, yeah, let's see if we can actually apply what you just said. All right, question number three. What point does the professor emphasize when she discusses the ideas and the new Western historians? Okay, historians view. So I'm going to go to my notes and I'm going to look for the first mention of historians. Boom, I have it in my main idea. Now, it's the perspectives, the ideas of Turner and the new Western historians. Well, Turner said, at the end of the frontier, end of the character, less individualistic, not independent-minded, and then accepted of blah, 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 paradigm of West. However, the historians question that. People looking at the same evidence with a Never. different perspective. Mm -hmm. Now, am I going to go into the challenges? No, because it says nothing about challenges around here. But I could tell you right now, this is the area that I'm looking at in my notes. Now, let's look at the answers because all the answers and the key words that I wrote down are right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. A, they came to different conclusions. That's it. the same evidence. Mm-hmm. I love A, but yeah. let's not get too excited because okay. sometimes I say, yeah, A, fuck. That has happened so many times. I'm like, yep, A, fuck. You know, it, it's, it, it, that happens a lot. Okay, so let's look at B. They failed to address. What you mean? No. I didn't write that down. I didn't write that down. It's not in my blue area. Trust your notes. Another tip for you, Jennifer. Please trust your notes. Your notes know more than you. Yeah, because I begin to think like myself, like what I heard. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even trust my notes to look at my notes. And then I just start choosing wrong answers. And then I go yeah, back to yeah. notes and I'm like, oh man. But if uh -huh. I was here, what the <laughs> fuck was I thinking? <laughs> you see what I mean? All right, mm -hmm. now, see, they presented similar stories of settlers. I didn't write mm -hmm. down anything about similar stories. No. D, they did not adequately account for economic factors. I did not write that down. A, answer. And guess what? I just looked in that area. I looked at the conflicting views. I looked at Turner, and I looked at the new Western historians. And uh, I came another, up with that. Another thing, if I don't have time to, to write everything. Yep. Like <laughs> you say, you don't have time to write everything. Uh huh. Why should I do? Okay. Now the thing is, you're not going to be able to write everything, right? Your goal okay. is going to be able. You're going to have to figure out. Okay, what's important? Because I wrote down end of frontier as a main heading. I wrote down the historian's view as a main heading. I knew exactly where to go. And I had keywords that allowed me to look at A and say, but this is what the main idea of this entire lecture was. Was to look at it from two different perspectives. That's what helped me already. And then when I looked at A, I wrote down historians' view, they began questioning. Had the same evidence, but with a different perspective. Now, your note taken may be historians question. You're not going to say question and you're probably going to put a question mark. And then you're going to write same EVI as an EVI equals diff pers perspective, but pers as in P-E-R-S-P. -E I'm trying to, you're not going to be able to write the full word. Jennifer, please, all these full words that you see here, please, you're not going to write down the full word. You're going to write down 30% of the word using letters, acronyms, you name it. You're going to have to come up with the Bible. Yeah. You're going to have to come up with the Bible, a different way, a different perspective of doing this, okay? Sometimes right. I put it in Spanish. What was that? <laughs> Sometimes I put, I put the words in Spanish. <laughs> you stupid, I uh-uh, you need to think it because Listen, I have so many students, and I've said this before. Some of my Thai students, anytime I said, how are you? And if they're older, they would repeat the question out loud. 
I would say, how are you? They would say, how are you? They would look up. How are you? I'm fine. And I'm like, mm -hmm. see, you're translating it. The moment I see you go top left, I know that you're translating it. <laughs> but me, if no, someone no, says, it comes in here and says, oh, Arsenio, King Cow Young, that means they uh, hurry up and ask me, have you eaten yet? And then I hurry up and say, King Leo, meaning I have already eaten. I don't try saying, King Cow Young, what did she ask me? King Cow Young, uh, what uh, have you eaten yet? Oh, King Leo, uh uh, no, no, no. They say, King Cow Young, I say, King Leo. If someone says, by nine, by here, meaning where are you going? I'm going here. I hurry up and, and I use their language only. I do not translate anything. Jennifer, the moment you start translating, you lose time, you lose perspective. Okay. It's a bad habit. It's not necessarily a bad habit. It's a habit to have if you don't understand the language. But you understand English. I, I will. I will. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does that make sense? Yes. <sighs> okay. All right. Let's go into number four. With which statement about Turner would the new historians most likely agree? Turner. We, we're going to go to Turner, right? Got to go to Turner. So remember, we aren't going to look anywhere up anymore. This is the only area. Okay that we're gonna be looking at. But it could also be this area. But we're looking for the most likely to agree. Now, there were two challenges. Mm -hmm. Over emphasis, white men, Europe set tone, define culture. And then Turner underestimated the role of the government, et cetera, et cetera. So maybe they agreed on the whole cultural aspect of it. Maybe. So let's check this out. A, Turner failed to recognize that social and economic conditions shape personal attitudes. No. Uh, no, nah, he underestimated, but we're looking for the things that they would most likely agree. Now, mm -hmm. B, Turner did not spend enough time traveling on the frontier. It has nothing to do with travel. Get the fuck out of here. I love bad answers because it helps me eliminate and makes me narrow it down. So that's why I like looking for the bad answers, okay? C, Turner overestimated the amount of land owned by large corporations. No, he underestimated. Ah, he underestimated. So C, no. Oh my God, that was tricky. Uh huh. And D, Turner incorrectly assumed that people had control over most aspects of their life. He said be under control. Yeah. I would say D. Yeah. Have you taken a TOEFL? <laughs> <laughs> right when I got a sip of my smoothie, you said something crazy. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm not always the best. This doesn't always come out. It's not always fire. It could be a lot of bullshit at times, too. I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about sometimes. So okay? I mean, you have to take it. You need to write yourself. Yeah, I want to take it. I would love to take it. But I'll tell you one thing. If I score anything less than a 120, I'm going to India. And I'm fucking people up. I'm getting off the plane and I'm like, I'm fucking all y'all up. Let's go. It's going to be Mike Tyson. One punch KO. I'm going to jail forever. I don't want to do that. So it's best for me and humanity. Like <laughs> I'm full of shit. I know I'm full of shit, Jennifer. I know. All right. But I do want to take the TOEFL. Well, you know, well, I got to get myself a substantial donation for me to even consider to give money to the Indians. Anyways, let's keep it going. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, that, 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 the exam is not like that. The exam does not have questions like this, so we're going to skip number five. Now. No, I don't know. I don't know if they tune in. <laughs> okay, well, let's fuck. Okay, fuck it. Let's have a little fun then, okay? Here we go. 
Now, remember, we're still looking at the bottom half of the notes, number one and number two, right? So it says here, indicate for each statement whether it reflects Turner's view of the American West or the view of the new Western historians. Okay. The federal government shaped the economic life of the frontier. That's Turner's view. Turner underestimated the role, though. But you're right. You're right. I would say Turner's view. Okay. The availability of cheap land promoted certain ideals. I believe that was Turner's That's view. No? And Americans would become less individualistic after the Western frontier disappeared. Turner said that. Hold on. I believe it's ABA. A? No. I believe it's BBA. Meaning here, here, and then Turner's view here. Really? Yeah, because unless Turner would be all three, that's impossible. Turner did say they would become less individualistic. Yes. The availability of cheap land, though. You know what? No, I'm going to go BAA. Gotcha. I knew it. <laughs> BAA. Now, if you say why, check this out. The federal government shaped the economic life of the frontier. Remember, Turner, hold on, the life of the frontier after the frontier ended. Uh, Yeah, because the thing is, Turner underestimated the role of the government. So if Turner underestimated the role, that means that the historians had to believe that the federal government shaped the economic view, right? Are you following me? Yeah, I'm following you. Okay, good. And then the availability of cheap land promoted certain ideals. Now, I remember right over here, free yeah. land, political, this, that. This is everything that Turner was talking about. That's why I chose A. And then at the end of the frontier, less individualistic, word for word. That's why I chose Turner. So, oh, yeah. Okay. Do it the Oh. Hey, then the Okay, good, 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 good. All right. Let's keep it going. Now, let's go to this last one. I love this one. 